Hey you guys, it's Bookcuts here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York City, and check this out. In front of me today, I have a box of the 2000, 2001 Topps Premier Plus, only two years of this stuff. In the background, we have Eddie the Eagle, looking kind of regal. Let's scrunch this bad boy. So of course, Premier goes back to the early 90s, it goes back to the late 2000s, and there's only two years of it in this configuration in 2000, 2001. Configuration, seven cards per pack, 24 packs per box, 168 cards, base set one through 104, and the rookies are 105 through 140, and there are the blue ice parallels, numbered to 250. So within a box break, we should receive 1.6 of the blue ice, nine base inserts. So there's the rookies, the premier teams, the aspiration, trophy, tributes, masters of the break and world premieres. And we do have a 41% chance at a relic and a 30% chance at an auto. They are not guaranteed. So in terms of those hits, relics 41% of the time, 36% of the time you hit the game use mem jerseys, about 4% of the time you hit the sticks and 1.4% you hit the game use duel of the jersey and sticks. So in terms of the autos, 3% of the time, 10% of the time they're club signing singles. The duels are a little bit over 1%. And the 14% of the time you'll hit the private signings. There is a private signings uh, checklist with only Gomez on it. And why would Gomez be on it? So that would be, I think, about 5% of the time because he won the Calder Trophy. He won the Stanley Cup in his first year, I believe, as well. So let's get it on. Well, look right there, it says, it says Calder. So there you have it. And does it say anything else on the back? Uh, nothing helpful. And of course, this is the rookie classes before Kovalchuk's here, right? So, which was 2001, 2002. Ooh, so we have a Scott Gomez uh, blow up uh, card as well. So that's kind of interesting. And look at that, okay. And it's the checklist, very interesting. So you have your entire checklist here, which is awesome. So yeah, so the checklist here, you can zoom in on it. Uh, it does say, so it does have the signings and it has the autos and the names on it. So there's some stuff you can discern from that. Uh, really interesting. And then, and then this thing. And the true rookies in this class are Raycroft, Reinprecht, uh, Kessler, Havlat, Hartnell, Abisher, Eric Belanger, uh, I believe played on Edmonton, a couple other teams. Um, Turco, Di Pietro. So it's Di Pietro's 2000 was the class where he was drafted first overall. Justin Williams is in this. Marion Gabrick is in this year as a true rookie. Colin White and Chech Manic are the ones I would mention. And is that a blue ice right at the top? Interesting. So we are not guaranteed an auto in this, unfortunately, or even a jersey. Um, so let's continue on or start this, I guess. So, man, this, these are really dated cards. I did open up 1999 to, oh wow, the horizontal on the back. That is really nice. I guess these aren't blue ices because they're not numbers. So these are just base cards. I did open up the 99, 2000. I have a break of that online about four years ago and I hit a legend auto, if you can believe that. Mike Madano, these are just, they look fat, these cards almost just because of the design. Really interesting. And here is our first world premiere. So this is a base insert and it's branded Shanahan. As foiled out as you get with this old school premiere, uh, really nice looking cards, Wade Red and right there. So there is an insert, rookie insert beyond the true rookies and they have the Sedin brothers in there, but their uh, rookie card, their young gun was the prior year. So it's not really a true rookie. Um, I think also in SPX, their young guns, no young guns, their rookie cards in SPX. Uh, was in 1999, 2000, not in 2000, 2001. Look at that, a Dougie Gilmore. These are awesome. Jason Arnott, Legwand, and we have a Brad Richards. So this is a premier rookies. So these aren't necessarily true rookies. I think they're like, you know, faux rookie inserts, a cup winner. Um, didn't he win the um, Consumite as well? Really, really cool looking cards though. And there's Peter Forsberg in full flying mode. I think it was actually Markov's rookie year too. I'm not sure. I think he's just in the base and I'm not even sure if he's considered a rookie, but I think it was his rookie year. Andre Markov of the Hats. Uh, yeah, man, Brett Hall, this is just wild. And here we have an Aspirations and it's Marion Hossa. There you go. These cards are just crazy looking. This is actually a cool looking card. I love it. It's Boboda and Hey Duke. 24 packs, so I'm gonna have to go a little bit quicker, I gather. So let's go Turgeon, Pekka, Allison, Kachuk, Daniel Kachuk, wow. Uh, Rick DiPietro, wow. So here you have the Rick DiPietro. So I think this is considered a rookie card of his, right? Because, I mean, he was drafted in 2000. That's amazing. Paul Korea, 
You'd expect me to hit the first overall Rick DiPietro rookie card, but also the Marty Turco. He's a rookie card too as well, so we hit him as well. Maybe it's easy to hit these guys, not sure. Uh, really cool, man. And that Daniel Sedin would not be a rookie card, a true rookie card, you know, even if he started in 2000. Oh, look at this Patrick, man. That is so sick. There's Marion Gabrick, so I believe this is a rookie card as well. There's Justin Williams, another rookie card. So we're hitting all the rookies, which is really good. Uh, ideally, what we would hit would be a an ice parallel of those rookies. But when you figure the amount of cards in this uh, box, you are going to hit most of the rookies. Uh, and not that they're... Well, look at the Tony Monte wiring it. Uh, yeah, not that they're worth that much or anything. There's Keith Kachuk. And I don't think Daniel's related. I, I remember Daniel being uh, writing for the Hockey News, and he's had other sort of odd jobs in, uh, in hockey. Uh, but I don't believe he's related, as far as I recall. Norin in. There's Tommy Salvo. He's famous for a own goal. Well, it wasn't an own goal. It was a goal that came from mid-ice, uh, center ice. Paul Fee and the Peter Forsberg. So this is the premier team insert. Very nice. Ray Croft, that's a rookie card, so you'd expect me to hit that, which I just did. And there's the Ron Francis. 2000 draft obviously was Ricky Pietro uh, first, but Danny Healy and Gabrick, I think, went two and three in that 2000 draft, infamous 2000 draft. There's Joe Thornton, Lidstrom. There's Markov. I believe this might be a true rookie of his. Now, is this... No, for a second there, I thought this is... No, this is, what does it say? Oh, it says rookie card. So you can actually see it. It's, it does say rookie card on it. Have those other ones all said rookie card? I totally missed that. It's, you know, I mean, they're pretty busy cards. I mean, I'm going from memory, but they do say rookie card. What's funny about it is they don't necessarily say rookie on the uh, right side. Some of them say it on the left side. So I was right, I mean, obviously Turco's rookie. I know he's a rookie, but they actually say rookie card. So there's Justin Williams, as I mentioned off the top. Really interesting. Very cool. What a cool product. I love this set. I built the 1999 uh, 2000 set. I liked it so much. All right, guys, let's continue and rock and roll. Uh, yeah, so definitely a parallel. I mean, if that isn't a parallel, I don't know what is. Limited edition 250. So this is the blue ice. Exactly. All right. So that's what they look like. They don't look very icy to my mind. So there's a rookie card of Havlat. Uh, and the cool Pavel Bure. So there's Tivo, Eddie the Eagle, as I have him in the background. And there's a trophy tributes, and it is our man who won a Stanley Cup, I guess in his last year with them, right? He was traded specifically so he could win a Stanley Cup, uh, Ray Bork. Yeah, so Gabrick was in that draft, as I mentioned, I think went third. Justin Williams went like 28th, and he's basically a captain, my captain. Uh, Ron Hainsey, I believe, was in that draft. I mean, really, really interesting draft. Uh, there's Ron, uh, Ron LeClaire, there's Johnny LeClaire, uh, Marty St. Louis, Coach St. Louis, and Chech Manic, who's a rookie card, evidently, and Brad Stewart. And Steve Vaught went in that draft, and a couple of other ones, you know, like as I mentioned, Ron Hainsey. Paul Martin was in that one, uh, not the Prime Minister of Canada. Uh, Kurt Cujo, that's a nice Cujo. These are just great cards, a ton of dupes at this point, so that's that parallel, uh, or the non-parallel. So odds on an auto or a hit is about 70% to have one or the other. David Abisher is absolutely a rookie. There's Matthew Garon. And uh, oops, I just dropped the Mario. Uh, yeah, destroying the Mario. I mean, they're papery cards. It's not as if I care at all about the state they're in. And they're actually in pretty fine state. I mean, they are pack fresh to my mind. Uh, yeah, man, Willette, these are just, there's Scotty Hartnell, so he's definitely a rookie. Uh, and Solani and Koivu in the same pack. Uh, two fins. Timo Solani's in a lot of products this year in Upper Deck, which is great. Uh, Scott Gomez. So he's, I don't know. I mean, he did have a decent career. It's just Habs fans are not very fond of him. Uh, Iginla and Turek. All right, last column. Let's see if we can spike any. Ooh, this feels, I think we have something here. That might be a jersey. I'm gonna save it till the end. Did I save it to the end? What if it's not a jersey? And I save it to the end and it's not a jersey. That would be deceitful and sad. Uh, yeah, Mess, Eliash, Stevens, and here is the Daniel Sedin. So this is sort of premier rookies, but they're not really rookies necessarily, uh, unfortunately. 
I actually argue with people as to what are true rookies. I don't think Beckett should decide. I think a lot of, we should be given license to decide ourselves as collectors. Oh, look at this thing, leg wand. McInnes, and there's Joe. And here's another one of the aspirations, and it's David Legwand. Was he the guy, first guy ever drafted by them? I think he was. Raycroft rookie again. Of course, I'll hit multiple Raycrofts for why not? So we will receive nine base inserts in total. Another Abisher rookie card, Tim Conley. And there's a Marty Brodeur. So there you go, premier team, a Marty. I like how they're uh, horizontal on the back, kind of cool. Oh, Mike Richter. Now he's over all over the products. I love hitting Mike Richter cards. Him and the Beezer are like my two favorites. I met him, uh, Mike Richter, back in 1996 in New York City. Uh, he actually was, I showed him through an art studio because uh, I was working there at the time to make some money. Surprisingly, I actually made money off of it, although they kind of went under. But uh, they knew I was Canadian, so they immediately, they heard he was a hockey player, so they grabbed me to give him the tour, which I thought was awesome, and I actually have his autograph from that still. Uh, Marty St. Louis, Havlat again, another rookie card, and uh, Pavel Bure. Of course, Kovalchuk went in 2001, right? First overall, and Spezza went number two in that draft. I think Miko Koivu was one of the top picks in that draft. Uh, Dougie Gilmore, Mac Medano, he's all over a bunch of products this year too. Colin White, Ray Bork, and the Dominator, uh, dominating it with his dominant performance. So I think we hit a jersey, which is great, because you are not guaranteed a hit in this stuff. Uh, so I'm, I'm assuming that's that, if we're lucky here. Uh, Joe Sackick, and look at this. I have to say that Pavel Bure cards inserts always look better than other players for some reason. There's something about his look. Uh, Chris Drury and Peter Forsberg. So let us see this, guys. Let us see what our hit is. Uh, I was pretty certain that was something. I don't think it's an auto. I mean, ideally it'd be a stick in Jersey because those existed, but primarily in terms of odds, it would be just a plain Jersey. Uh, I assume I'm always in line with the odds, although I got lucky with my OPG boxes. So behind the Kovalev is whatever this is. At least we hit something. At least we hit something because as I said, not guaranteed. So what is this? Maxime? Oh my God, this is, what? <laughs> okay, this was not what I was expecting. I think it's Max Belmochnik, who isn't, uh, he played in the KHL, he barely played in the NHL, uh, was a star in the juniors. That is crazy. That is not necessarily the best one. There's some good cards on the checklist, but that's certainly not one of the best ones. Uh, yeah, I'm dropping cards over here. I mean, that's a pretty dismal checklist. There's Iggy on it, but there's Beach, Belmochnik, uh, Turco's on it, um, Fada, Pyatt, Burry's on it, but it's Valerie Burry. Very few good players on the checklist. However, because I knew it was only like 30% odds at an auto, I did pick this up on eBay to show you what you do hit if you hit it. And I do see my break from 1999. Um, 2000 of Premier Plus because I did hit a legend auto to my absolute astonishment. Uh, it was a break I did four years ago. So here we go. We have this thing here. All right. So I picked this up because I knew I was going to do this break and I knew I had really poor odds of hitting something great. So here it is. Here it is. And this is the type of hit you can hit if you're lucky. So this is in fact one of the autos from this set, right? How cool is that? It is the Bobby Clark. It is a beautiful auto. And it is in fact a 2000-2001 Premier Plus auto. Right, so these are the club signings. So these are one in 219 packs, which is about 10% odds. Checklist has Smith, Van Beesbrook, Leclerc, Clark, Robitaille, and Marcel Dion. They actually do have duels of these, but they're like one in 1,750 packs or something of that nature. So I thought I'd pick this up just to show you the kind of hit you can hit to make this break a little bit more interesting because I was conscious of the fact I'm not gonna again hit a legend like I did last time. 
So that's basically it guys, super cool box with this stuff. No fewer than 36 rookie cards. So we hit the Rick DiPietro, the Marty Turco, and Ray Croft rookie cards in multiples actually. Abisher, Chech Manic, um, the Justin Williams, all the key rookies were here. Uh, so many rookies in this set. I will say that actually within these base, I just noticed an error card. The Gomez here, one of the Gomez's is missing the foil for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, I love the um, love the Mike Richter. So yeah, man, cool box of the stuff, not guaranteed a hit, but it's just such a cool set to complete. It's really easy set to build. I've built the other year of it. Anyways, guys, get into my draw, get into my draw. I hope you enjoyed this break. I love this stuff. I have to be full cards. Please be sure to sub like hashtag drive and full cards live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York City. Went back to bed this morning. Cause I'm pulling down.